Swati Krupp and welcome to Thailand Top Stories. Tim taking over from Natty who's moving over to Good Morning Thailand. Now she's still here, don't worry, Natty is still part of the Tiger but she's got the big promotion to the Good Morning Thailand desk with Jay. I wish them both the best of luck. I'll be taking over the news desk for today's well, every day's morning uh, top stories program. In the meantime, we're talking about the bars and the nightlife fighting back in Thailand. They may be open sooner rather than later. Also, the Prime Minister is denying that he's holding on to power uh, for the next 20 years. All that's coming up in today's Thailand top stories. Facing enormous pressure from entertainment and nightlife workers and businesses, the National Security Council Secretary General is hinting that lifting the bans on bars and nightlife will be up for discussion at this Friday's double CSA meeting. He noted that the PM understands and sympathises with those in the industry, but also worries about the COVID-19 situation as infections are still high and the country has more broadly reopened its borders to international tourists. Businesses and workers affected by the shutdown since April have become increasingly frustrated and vocal about their plight, participating in protests and presenting petitions to government officials. The NSC official suggested that the committee may relent and unpopular rules barring nightclubs, pubs, bars, karaoke and other nightlife venues from opening could be softened or lifted. The current ruling would delay the reopening of bars and nightlife until January the 15th next year. Revenue from tourism in 2022 is expected to reach 1.5 trillion baht after the government approved the promotional budget for next year. TAT Governor Yutasak Supasorn has had the crystal ball out again and imagined a revival in the next 12 months which would reach around 50% of the last full year of tourism before the COVID pandemic. Get ready for Visit Thailand 2022 Amazing New Chapters, which is aimed at marketing, well, amazing new chapters. But the new chapters look suspiciously like the old chapters. Beaches, temples, food and, well, more beaches. But packaged up in swish new extended length ads which will be broadcast at targeted tourist markets around the world. And the Minister for Sports and Tourism has also launched the Centre for Emergency Situation Related to Tourism and Sports this week. He told Nation Thailand that the new agency will be able to assist tourists as the numbers start to grow. Sounds a bit like the tourist police that's been in force for some two decades already. The minister says it will be a central agency that provides solutions to domestic and foreign tourists in Thailand who run into problems or need assistance. Yep, that's the tourist police. Thai PM Prayut chan cha is denying criticism that he's clinging to power to see through the government's 20-year national strategy. Yesterday, the PM said poverty, injustice and inequality are unresolved fundamental problems and claimed that measures to address the issues are part of the national strategy. But critics reminded him of their fear that the 20-year strategy is just a document to keep him and the military hanging on to power. But the PM said that he insists that he doesn't want to cling on to power and that the strategy is designed to cover all aspects of the country's national development. The strategy makes it legally binding for future governments to follow the 20-year roadmap, which critics say is just a straitjacket to stifle more dynamic economic development. A sad case of a foreigner found dead on Koh Tao 17 years ago has resurfaced on Facebook, bringing new attention to the incident. The post calls to light the suspicious circumstances in the death of a Japanese scuba instructor on Gotao in 2004, asking if the ruled suicide was in fact murder. The post was made on a Facebook account called Gotao Death Island that since posted dozens of follow-up posts linking other media coverage around the world. The case is of a woman named Yoshi Sazawa who lived on the island for 12 years and worked as a scuba instructor before her untimely death. The police ruled her death as a suicide based on the circumstantial evidence at the time. The case is one of many where foreigners have come to sometimes suspicious and untimely ends on the island off the coast of Suratani. 
Thai authorities have hit back by saying the Facebook page is run by a group of foreigners led by an Australian lawyer whose purpose is to stir up controversy and damage Thailand's reputation by speculating conspiracy theories about the cases from the past. The National Health Security Office has announced a new program that will provide IUD contraceptives for free for women under 20. The Director General of the Health Service Department confirmed the program will provide interuterine devices for women in need at all state and private hospitals that are connected to Thailand's free public health service. An IUD, the small T-shaped device made of plastic that's inserted into the uterus, is an effective form of birth control. The program to provide free IUD con contraception is aimed at reducing unwanted pregnancies, according to the Director General, especially those in young women under the age of 20 years old. A new NIDA poll has surveyed people about the government's handling of COVID-19 and the reopening. The poll found that people felt the economy was the same or slightly better, valued health over the economy and were overwhelmingly afraid of COVID-19 worsening after the reopening. The survey interviewed 1,320 people over the age of 18 with various occupations and levels of education across Thailand. The poll found that about half the people surveyed were satisfied with the government's measures to control COVID-19, but many were concerned that the infection rates remained high and vaccination rates still too low, and that opening to foreigners could bring more COVID-19 and even new strains into Thailand. Speaking about the economy, some 48% of respondents felt it remained the same, asked if they were concerned COVID could get worse over the next month, 76% said yes. Asked what they weighed as more important, health or the economy, 59% said health, 28% said the economy. Well, that's all the main news stories for Thailand Top Stories today. Don't forget that Natty has moved over to Good Morning Thailand, so join her and Jay today and every day Monday to Friday. You can find all the latest stories at thetiger.com. Please subscribe to the channel. That really helps us and keeps the YouTube gods happy. But for now, you're up to date on The Tiger.